Broadway.com. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back. You're watching Aaron Burser backstage with Leslie Odom Jr. We are not backstage right now. We are in a taxi on our way to my second or third fitting for the tux I'll be wearing to the Tonys. Crazy. Nicolette also went to a dress fitting this week. I think she found a dress. We have Obies this week. We have rehearsal for the Tonys performance. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to perform yet. That'll be announced soon, but I'll take you with me to rehearsal. Vogue comes out this week. Lots of stuff. Because so much of it has to do with style, we're gonna focus on style this week. I hope you had a good week. I'm glad to see you again. Here we go. So this is the man. We're here with David Hart, designer extraordinaire. David actually has a history with the Tonys. Last year, you did every single look for Alan Cumming, is that right? I think three looks for Alan. I know a lot of costume changes. Yeah. Sam Spector, stylist to the stars. This is lovely assistant Esther. Esther. Sam did every look for Neil Patrick Harris for the Oscars. Yep. Two years ago. Yep. And how was that experience for you? Unbelievable. So much fun. We did seven, six looks, but seven changes. And then I did Andy Samberg for the Emmys in the same year, the hosting. Wow. I'm doing Nicolette Robinson, the gorgeous Nicolette Robinson, who's going to wear a gorgeous gown. You made the choice in one day. It's amazing. We did it. We did it together as a team. Me, Leslie, and Nicolette. We sort of looked at our options, put them all side by side in a picture, and evaluated what the best thing for Nicolette was. And I think we made the right choice, but everyone that's watching will have to be the judge. Yeah! You're very talented. Thank so excited you. to be working with you. June 12th! It's right around the corner. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Okay, so we're at the Tony's luncheon. It's a reunion of sorts. There he is. Here comes the general, Tony nominee, an old college friend who's done pretty well for herself. Chosen. Going blue. I'm going blue. Try to piece 
together? Good question. Uh, I'm going to do a black. You pretend to create and observe what you really detect. Perhaps it's because I'm wrong. But he's doing the end of the millennium choreography. can't wait to see your movie, Mark. I was doing some Grease Live. Real triple threat you are. Real, people don't know that he's a real triple threat. The boy can sing, he can dance like nobody's business, and of course, act for himself. So, and, to you. And you are too. I mean, you, le you left the stage <laughs> and now you're a Tony nominated choreographer, director as well. I mean, you're killing it. Trying. Are you happy? Oh my god, are you kidding? Uh, I've been dreaming of this moment my entire life. So, Beauties! Ah, Tony nominee, lunch it. How was it? How was it? It's everything they said it would be. It's the best hang with the whole community ever. And then who's standing out here outside? The light of the ball. Who's going to do what? Where are you going right now, babe? We're about Go to Christian Siriano to go try on Tony dresses. Oh my gosh, they're not gonna know what happened. They're not gonna know what happened. Renee, you know what you're wearing yet? I don't. Ah! Yes, she does. She knows. She's just not telling us. And then as we're leaving, hey guys, your old friend. It's your old friend. I'm you gonna. Forgot, have you forgotten about me? <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do you proud. Vloggers all over the world. I'm gonna try to do you proud. Leslie gonna take good care of you. Um, how was that? How was inside? I had the best time. That was amazing. I met Michelle Williams and I I I, uh, I stopped speaking. <laughs> She's so hot. <laughs> She's gorgeous. You need to. You need to stop talking right now. You, I've seen. I don't know how you sing your show eight shows a week. I'd say you are you, incredible. Bro. Thank you. Look at this. This is love right here. This is why I'm very proud to be nominated with someone like this. And then someone like Lynn. That's right. And then someone like Danny. Zach and Danny. It's the coolest category, and my hope is that we all get that's a tie. Five way tie. Five way tie. That's my that's my goal. Just going to 260. Oh, nice. Careful crossing the street. Okay, let's go, bro. <laughs> all right. Long after dark, taking in the sights of the city. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she's back. Hi. Talk to me about talk to me about the styles in this show, like the different styles oh of dance. Gosh. There are so many. There's like Bob Fosse jazz. There's some moments, some like odes to him, and then you got that good crump crump happening. You know what I mean? Like where you gotta dig in and be a dude for all you girls out there. You gotta like grab your crotch and like go for it. I'm not good at popping and locking, but I figured out how to fake it. You know what I mean? When you choreograph your style, you call it what? I call it the grit. Uh, basically, sort of a movement or an experience, but it means um, trigger human emotion and gritty because it's me. There he is. Jam. Uh, you are our style guru. I don't even have my good shoes Our on. maven. Uh, talk to me about your personal style, please. Uh, my personal style is funky, just so staying funky. And I'm a 90s kid. Well, I'm an 80s baby, but I'm a 90s kid, so gotta have the Mike Tyson knockout. Say hi to Broadway.com. Hey, Broadway.com. Broadway What's good? Talk to me about talk to me about the style, the styles of dance within this show. It's, it's every style of dance. <laughs> it's like so you think you can Broadway. <laughs> You're so good at changing the styles both of you are does that just like years and years of training just got you prepared for it can you say <laughs> we gonna yeah. find out we gonna find out aren't we? this is the learning on the job you got tap you got hip-hop you got ballet, jazz you got andy Fossey. Like whoever that is people on point you got <laughs> what no it's absolutely oh. yeah there's everything there's everything there's everything's in there my man you know my hair's not done i want to get higher than a <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one right here, she's a stylist. She's a stylist. On the side, her, her day job That's her side is as a stylist. Hustle. Hamilton's just her night job. So, what's your opinion about personal style? Can you teach personal style? No. That's something you're born with. I love how everyone's I mean, just like, is, I need to be in this. Everyone dresses. <laughs> everyone. How, how you dress. We have to go back. Tony rehearsal day done. Gregory Haney wants to say something. So what they are failing to mention is that normally the 
Tony is on my birthday, <laughs> June 6th. So the start of the week will be my birth week, June 6th. Yeah. So send all cards and gifts and sweets to the Richard Rogers Theater. Thank you. Got that? We got that. Tony rehearsal all done. Andrew Chappelle. Hi. You know him, you love him. Um, you have impeccable style. Oh, thank you, you know, Leslie. You know it's true. Um, talk to me about your uh, personal style again. Well, right now I'm really into neutrals and pastels. Um, so I just kind of buy what I like, right? That's that's the key. So you buy things that make you happy, and then you're happy. Also, it also relates to performing, right? I mean, we have all we all have the same choreography. We all have the same step. You know, you understudy. How many parts? I uh, I understudy six parts in the show, and yeah, so I actually the way I did it was I kind of took it off of you guys. So like, if if I'm ever in rehearsing for you, Leslie, I'm like think like, how is Leslie, and I try and like it let that inform my movement. We all have the same choreography, but you make it your own. Yeah, we all do it differently. You dance you dance together, but as yourself. You have your uh, Tony outfit picked out already. Um, well, I don't, but I'm thinking about doing um, a slightly equestrian type theme. Um, <laughs> okay, what does that mean for the I'm people? Not gonna, I'm not going to wear a boot. I'm not going to like have a riding crop or like a hat. But I'm definitely going to do maybe like a patterned jacket with okay. a vest, perhaps tan colors, maybe some pastels. I want to see what hues. What hues are you wearing, uh, Leslie? Because I want. I want to be. I want to be simpatico with Leslie. I'm going classic. I'm going very, very classic. Okay, simple. Okay. Okay. Pancakes. Man of the hour. <laughs> Nick Chris. Ah! Washington Day. Ooh. You ready? Excited. In the midst of everything, we have um, new cast members too, and part of the uh, fantastic thing about that is um, you get to see somebody else's style, somebody else's spin on the role. So today we have Nick Chris going on for Washington. I'll follow you guys. to leave the Obies, but I had such a privilege tonight to spend it with all these fantastic off-Broadway stars and my absolute 
favorite Vine and YouTube star. He's a sensation, Mr. Tom Sanders. <laughs> Stop it! I can't even handle the compliments right now. Are you kidding me? Um, it's been just as much of an honor getting to meet you, Leslie. If you haven't seen his videos, do yourself a favor. I'm the, I'm the dude that's usually in the videos doing story time and narrating people, you know, <laughs> their lives, all the silliness. It's so good. I've always been a theater junkie. That's always been my thing. I tend to be a little theatrical. <laughs> and it's been something that's helped me, you know, with my comedy. And um, stop. Maybe that's after Roy O'Malley. Maybe after Roy O'Malley, next king. What? <laughs> Roy.com. Sorry, he's dead. Talk to me about, do you have a, do you have a sort of a philosophy or style? It's a complicated question. Is Leslie's bringing it home answer, right answer now at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Answer however you want. I try and like uh, keep things very minimal. I'm, sl I'm, I'm clean lines, minimal, and I let other people like Leslie <laughs> tell the big stories. I look as the background kind of guy. You know those clicks back there? Lynn, not a background kind of guy. Me, background kind of guy. That's kind of my style. That's a lie. He's a Leo. He's one of the most stylish men you've ever met. Look, look at look at what he's wearing today. Oh, what this <laughs> little number? Anyway. I already dropped the congratulations. Rosie. <laughs> Some good company. <clears throat> hey, Broadway.com. It's time for another segment of Ask Odom Jr. The show, once again, it's not the first thing we're doing in a day, it's the last thing we're doing at the end of a very long day. Also, my friend Shonda Rhimes is back. Let me show you something. It's crazy that she's here because... Somebody just got me this. So, let's do a quick Ask Odom Jr. At Larry underscore Camo. Looks like your name is Cameron. Hi, Cameron. She says, Ask Odom Jr., how do you deal with pre-performance nerves? Also, I love you. And she wrote a little, she made a little heart emoji. Well, I love you too. Now before the show, I'm not really nervous anymore, but if I am nervous, I find a reason to make the character nervous, and it puts me back into the work that I'm doing instead of making it about me. So if I was nervous, if Leslie was nervous to start the show, I would just find a reason, why is Burr nervous right now? Burr's nervous because He's telling the story for the first time and he's, he's, he's worried that he won't say the right thing. You know, and then I'm focused on Burr again and not Leslie. So focus on your character. E. Wesley 2016, L.C. Wesley. Ask Odom Jr., have there ever been any turntable related accidents? Um, only downtown. Downtown the turntable didn't work a couple of times, but because of that, we put a couple of things into place so we are fully prepared if the turntable was to ever stop working. But you know what? For so long, we performed this show um, at music stands. And so we also know that while we have a beautiful set here and we have um, you know, all these wonderful costumes and all that stuff, the great gift of Hamilton the Musical is that it would work if all the lights in the theater stopped working. We could do this show in street clothes, and it would still work. All that other stuff is extra, is ornamentation. It's wonderful to have it, but it works even if we don't have it. I'll answer one more. At Saruks the Third, Crisanto Third, Ask Odom Jr., what was it like to be in Rent? It's the musical that got me more into musicals than ever before. Before this experience, it was the best experience. It was a little bit of a rude awakening, kind of going from community theater to Broadway. Um, Broadway's the big leagues, and I had never been in the big leagues, so there were some of the sort of emotional politics of it backstage that I had to, that took some getting used to, but I never for once got tired doing that show. I never took it for granted. I got, I got plucked from Philadelphia and placed in the center of my wildest dream and it felt like that every night. I also want to show you guys, since this is the style episode, one second, I have to say this never gets old. I mean this was another one of the things that made me focus on style for this particular episode but uh, this month's issue of Vogue is out now. We got to be in it. I mean how crazy is that? Pick that up. Cynthia is in here, Adrian Warren's in here. I love this shot of all the directors. So, 
this um, experience just continues to blow my mind. Anyway, maybe we'll see Shonda later. She's here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Shonda Rhimes. Hello, everybody. Woo! You've seen the show a few times, I think yes. three times. This is my fourth. Okay. Now, I would just love to know because I've... What is, I'm just curious, what is it that keeps you coming back to see it again and again? There's an amazing emotional tie that happens for me that I never expected to happen. That, you know, you see a show, you think, oh, it's great, it's smart, it's funny. I find myself, there's a moment in the show every single time, and it's different every time, that I find myself crying, that I don't, I'm not a crier. There's something about it that really sticks emotionally for me, that reflects who we are as a human being. I don't know, as, as a human being, as, as a nation, as a person, it's really lovely. I knew you were here tonight. I don't love to know when people are here, but uh, it's okay. When I always smiles. email you. She always I'm like, I'm I'm <laughs> Are you going to be in the show? I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to be in row M, <laughs> seat 12, look over but there. Yeah, tonight, I tonight I was thinking, I wonder who she relates to the most. Is it Hamilton because of the writing oh, thing? Is it... Burr, for some reason, is it the Schuyler sisters? I mean, who? I think I relate most to both Hamilton and George Washington. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, the idea that there's a responsibility with what you do that's really fascinating to me is George Washington that I think is really interesting. I'm always joking at work that I was, I literally, that George Washington and I would be best friends. You know if, you would be. I, yeah, you if know. I knew him right now. Which is crazy. You would be his Hamilton. You'd be writing those speeches. But I keep Hamilton thinking, would have been out. <laughs> my writers and my studio are very nervous about the fact that I keep saying like I want to sit under my own vine and my fig tree. <laughs> <laughs> my own vine and my fig tree. You, uh, but there is also that idea of um, I'm writing like I'm running out of time, like there's not enough time to put everything down on paper. What's beautiful about what Lynn does is there's something in everybody that makes sense. There's something in every character. There's something about Aaron, um, Aaron Burr, your character, that makes sense to me. The idea that he is saying, I am being careful and I'm waiting for it, and I, it's frustrating to me. Those are the songs that, embarrassingly enough, I sing in my bathroom mirror most often <laughs> and feel like most strongly about. If there was somebody ever filming me, those are the ones I'd be like giving the most <laughs> to. Because they feel most human and most personal and true. Last thing, I just want to, uh, I'm going to embarrass her a little bit um, <laughs> because the two friendships that have come, if, if I don't get anything else from Hamilton and American Musical, if I don't get anything else from this experience, my friendship with you and my friendship with Spike Lee oh. is like, that's it. The fact that I get emails from you, the fact that I get a text from Spike Lee is like, that's a wrap for me. I mean, you guys are Pretty heroes, talented. heroes, yeah. top of the list. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, I'm happy to do it. But... Broadway.com. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Hi, Bradley. <laughs>